Hi guys, this is Mike from mpcstuff.com. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install the MPC Stuff 2000 2000 XL LCD screen uh, into an MPC 2000 XL. I know it's been a really long time in the making for these things. I thought some people thought we were never going to finish the project. Uh, we finally finished the project. These are brand new style from the ground up, um, not like the ones before that were glitchy. Uh, these ones work perfectly uh, smooth, no timing delay. Um, so now I'm going to show you how we're going to install this. Uh, first thing, you'll see the LCD looks uh, a little bit different, and it comes with a cable on it. So that's the first thing you're going to notice when you get the other one open to see the difference. Uh, these also have a lot brighter display, uh, it's bright blue, it's going to stay forever. Uh, and if you ever did have an issue, we can replace just the LCD part. Uh, so. I'm gonna go ahead and show you now exactly how we're gonna take this thing apart. We've had previous videos on how to install the LCD screens, so if you've seen one of those, it's gonna be similar, but this one's gonna change just ever so slightly. All right, I'm gonna show you real quick where all the screws are. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we have a screw here. So like I said, one, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna have ones on each side, here and here. We're gonna take those first ones out. All right, now that I have the two out of the sides on each side and the ones out of the back, uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip the unit over and get to the other ones that we need to get to. All right, as you can see, I flipped the unit over here. I put a piece of uh, foam underneath. You can use a pillow or something else soft just to, um, so the knobs on the front side don't get messed up. Um, just be very careful with those, especially the sliders. They tend to have issues. Um, now we're going to take out these three screws here holding this front panel. So now we have those three out. Now that these three out, this front panel will slide forward. While we're on the bottom of the unit, we're going to need to take this bottom panel off anyways. So while we're here, we're going to take the bottom panel off. All right, now that all the screws are out, you'll notice I've left two in here. They're the ones that have little holes in here. Those don't need to be taken out. Those will be holding your drive in. This unit, unfortunately, doesn't have a drive right now, um, but it doesn't matter for what we're doing right now. All right, now that we have this open, we'll see. This is gonna be the cable you're gonna mess with, but we'll just leave that alone for right now so we get the rest of the casing off. Now we've turned the unit back over. You're gonna see these three right here since we've pulled that front panel off. These are going to be the ones that are going to pull the rest of the casing out. Now we're going to pull our slider off here. There may or may not be a little spacer that you might need to pull out as well. Pull that off. Put those aside. Now you're going to lift, push this up, and then you're going to pull up. You're going to see there's these little tabs on each side might get bent around a little bit just push them back it's not that big of a deal now that we have our casing off we're gonna have a little more access to get our, our LCD screen out as you can see these pads need to be replaced just because they're dirty uh, I guess I could clean them if I wanted to uh, that's also how you change the pads out or any of the buttons if you needed to our next step we're going to uh, get the LCD screen out here so we're going to turn our unit this way so we can access this screw right here You'll notice sometimes the peg, it'll pop up. Just make sure you don't lose those. Those are impossible to find and we don't have them. So it's one of those things. Make sure you hold on to those. It's one of the most important parts. Uh, now we're going to go to the other side. Now we have it out of here. Now that it's kind of loose, we're going to go turn it around back to the other side like we did before. All right, now that we're on the underside, there's two things that are going to have to happen. You'll see here, this is where your LCD screen is. Some of them are gonna have a little piece of tape holding it to there, some are not. Mine does have the tape. 
um, and you're going to see that the writing is going towards the left. The writing also is going to coincide, pulling it out real quick, with the pins. So keep in mind that your pins are going to go towards the left where you can actually see the pins in here. Um, this is not going to be reused, but this is going to come out of here. And secondly, our new LCD screens do worry with the inverter. The inverter is something that, uh, an old technology that honestly caused problems a lot. So we're going to unhook right here. That also goes to the LCD screen. It's an option if you want. Either way, unplug this or unplug here and you can remove the inverter completely out of the way or whatever you need to do with it. Uh, keep in mind, my unit that I'm messing with right now, um, the inverter is not going to be there anymore. It might be a little harder for you because you might have a drive here. So if that is the case, pull the drive out so you can access this cable so you can get it undone with the thing in there. Like I said, you can remove this inverter board and this if you want, um, or you can just unplug it. It doesn't matter either way. Now we're going to go in, and since we have the LCD, both parts for the LCD window are undone, we'll be all right. Um, keep in mind, you're going to have, it's hard to get out right here. Being that we're replacing this cable, it's not as a big of a deal um, because you can scratch the cable if you have to or whatever. But you'll notice underneath here, if you look, uh, I can't really get my camera at it, you're going to see that there's a, um, a zip tie holding it in. I'm actually, uh, now that I think about it, I'm going to show you that zip tie because it's going to be best if you can cut that zip tie before you try to pull through. It's just going to make everything easier. All right, as you can see in here, that's the zip tie that's holding this in. So if you can get at it and cut that zip tie off with a uh, scissor, see where we are right here? This is the inverter here. This is underneath that power supply part. I'm going to zoom out so you can see where I'm working with. If you can cut that off, it's going to make it easier for you to pull that out. All right, now that I have those both out, I'm going to flip my unit back over. And now we're going to have access here to pull the LCD screen through. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit hard sometimes. Um, pull this one through first because it's kind of bigger. And then this here, you're going to pull through here and get the whole thing out. So now that we have this out, we're going to work on this piece now, putting the new LCD screen in this. All right, now that you have this out, there are going to be four screws on the back of this. You're going to pull all those four screws out, and that'll give you access to the inside of this. Um, this unit's pretty decent already, so I'm actually just going to pull a little switch and just switch it with another one rather than take this one all the way apart. Uh, so once you have all those screws out, it's going to open up. And this one doesn't have anything inside right now on this side but when you open up you're gonna have your LCD screen is gonna be set right here it's gonna have the ribbon coming down here and the other piece coming down here it's very self-explanatory it has four screws little teeny ones holding it in take those four screws out pull out the unit the four screws are very small so do not lose them I have them there that I've already taken out of this one so I'm gonna show you now how we're gonna put the new one inside here so hopefully you understood that how to take the old one out you just open it up take these four take your old LCD out put it aside um, and then now you get the new one in now that you have your new LCD it's ready to go in the first thing that you're gonna do is this is not needed and it's not necessary but it's gonna make it fit a lot easier in here if you do it this way this middle peg it's, it's not very load-bearing there's not really anything that's gonna have the problem because it was actually used to hold the old LCD in place right there um, but you'll notice when you put it in it's very close to this it doesn't hit but it will rub a little bit there if it's kept there so it's actually very simple this push it one way it'll break off cleanly every time um, don't worry about it not breaking cleanly it, ju it just does so then you have your um, cord here that's gonna come out and this is you'll see it's gonna go on just like the same you have these three or, I'm sorry two and these two on each side this side, they're solid, so make sure you do the left side first when you're adding the screws. You have to bend the LCD wire a little bit because the way it is, we've used them so they can work both with the 2000 and 2000 XL. So the cable's gonna be here, so our cable's gonna have to kind of move over here. The cable can be bent, just don't bend it too much. Um, so we're gonna get the cable coming out. And when you get these, we'll have the cable set up easier for it come, the way it comes out to go into your unit. Uh, we'll set up our cable. Put that in here. 
And now we're gonna go ahead, once we have our LCD in here, we have the part sticking out here, we're gonna go ahead and put our screws in. All right, so I've put all the screws in now, and as you can see, my uh, cable's coming down here. You'll notice a little bit that you don't wanna push these screws in all the way. They'll go in just a little bit. Uh, the connectors on the back, sometimes will push against the back side of this thing, so those won't go all the way in, which is totally fine because the way the LCD works is it has room before the window either way, um, and it's a little thinner profile. So it's totally fine if it's not in there. You'll see there's, it's, there's no problem with it being in there, and it's in there completely securely. Um, and now we're just gonna go ahead and put our front piece, now that we've got our four screws in, Um, one thing to note before I do that is on here you're going to see there's a plastic overlay. Usually you'll find them on anything with the screen. So you go ahead and pull that up. Make sure you don't have any dust on the inside of your LCD window. Put that on. See that snaps into place. Your ribbon cable's coming out here and it's inside. Now you're gonna go ahead and put the four screws back in on the back side of this. All right, now that we have them all in there, we're all set ready to put it back into the unit. All right, now that you got that there, you're gonna go ahead and put this back here and put your two holes back into there. And when you put that in, remember you're just gonna feed that through there, just like that. Put these back in so we can go to the next step. So I'm not gonna show you that, but just put these back in here, here and here, and make sure you have it so it'll pivot, and then you're good for the next. All right, we got Lucky Ours is coming through here, like this, the cable, and we're gonna wanna kinda push it through here so we can bring it over to this area and put it in. Remember, we want the silver side, the pins, to go that way, just like this, and the writing. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there, and now we're gonna turn it around, put the casing back on, just like we did before. Um, we'll just follow the exact same steps that you did to take off the casing to put it back on, and then we're gonna test the LCD. All right, now we fire it up, it's detecting memory. See it's installed, everything looks okay. Just main real quick. As you can see, our new LCD is working perfectly in here. Put it down. It's got a nice blue color. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and install everything back just the way we took it off. Um, it's pretty simple, all the stuff we're working on now is just the casing items. All right, I've already put the casing on here. It's basically gonna be the exact opposite of what we had before uh, with the case. We're gonna go this screw here, 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 here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, going back in. On the front side, we have one, two, three, those going back in. I've already put those ones back in. Don't put your side ones in yet because you need to put the front panel in there before you do. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it around and we're gonna put our bottom panel back on. Like I said, we don't have a drive in here so it's something we're not gonna really worry about right now. But we're gonna go ahead and put our bottom panel on. When putting the bottom panel on, you have the screws here that you had out before. You're gonna go ahead and put those back in. Um, I'm not gonna do it on this particular unit because I need to put a drive in here later, um, but you're obviously gonna put all those back in. And once those screws are all back in, you're gonna to wanna to put the front panel back. The front panel's gonna go on just like this, like you had it before, and the screws are gonna go one, two, three. Those are usually gonna be the longer, dark black screws. After you have those in, then you can turn the unit back around and you can put your screws in here, here, and then on the other side as well. After you have all those in, it'll be completely finished and you'll have your MPC 2000, 2000 XL LCD screen installed in your MPC 2000 XL. Um, only available at mpcstuff.com. You can get the thick pads um, and many customization things as well. Thank you.